Hello everyone, it's Hexis here. Today I will tell you the best enhancements for your attack gear using obsidian steel and most importantly why these specific stats are so popular now. But before that, smash that subscribe button to join our awesome community. Alrighty, let's start with the weapon. You have three options, damage boost against infantry, damage boost against cavalry or damage boost against angels. Now we know that angels are the most powerful units in the game currently and everyone is using them everywhere. However, in my opinion, it's better to increase either the damage against infantry or cavalry simply because angels are available only in a limited number and there will also be way more infantry or cavalry front line when you attack a castle for example. Besides, you need to get through them first to hit the angels anyways. And one more thing, whichever you get first, I would recommend to keep that because when we recast enhancements, it gives only a percentage chance to get what we want. So better not waste obsidian since they carry a lot of gem value. Instead, just improve the other damage stat more where we can influence it better, like beast skill or artifacts for example. Next up, helmet and armor. Both of these pieces have two options, damage reduction against mages and damage reduction against archers. You could either choose a balanced setup with one each on each piece or have double damage reduction against just one troop type. This depends on how much your other technology improvements can give you as well. Uh, so, so compensate here based on your total technology and gameplay style. Even though there are more mage players than archer players around, I wouldn't recommend re-rolling if you already have one of these two. For the belt, and accessory, it's simpler. Damage boost when attacking is the only thing you have to find. I mean, of course, if you're a very defense-oriented player, then you can also choose damage boost when defending, by the way. Oh, and another thing, the enhancement to increase damage when attacking also helps in fiend trial, undead king, and so on. And finally, boots. Here, my choice will be damage taken reduced when attacking because I attack more. Again, for a defensive castle, there is an option to choose damage taken reduced when defending instead. So why exactly are these enhancements super important? It's because damage stats matter more than simple attack percent or HB boost. Don't get me wrong, those stats should be there too, but they carry less weight in the current battle mechanics. Plus, these enhancements are permanently active and not getting triggered by chance or under any particular conditions like some of the artifact red skills and mystic college skills. Some people forge multiple gear pieces to have all the different options available by the way, but I would say this can only be done when you're at a stage where you have tons of free materials lying around to forge multiple orange gear pieces because your emblem upgrades need these materials too. So there you have it folks, a quick rundown through the obsidian steel enhancements for your attack gear pieces. Hope you all enjoyed it and see you next time. Goodbye guys.